Welcome! Over the past several months, our team consisting of Pranathi, Riley, Jamari, Nick, and myself have worked tirelessly on a revolutionary mobile application intended to modernize the college searching experience. With that in mind, we would like to introduce our app, College Atlas. Please enjoy this introduction. Not everyone has the same taste in colleges. Some students want a large university in a city far away from their hometown, while others want to be close to home in a small and local college. If you already know what you want in a college, why spend hours searching through hundreds of colleges that don't fit your preferences? This is why we built College Atlas, a modern mobile application with the goal of simplifying your college searching experience. To start using College Atlas, Install the application on your Android device and open the application. Select Get Started and read through the introduction screen. Then select Let's Go. Start by answering four questions that relate to location. Then after clicking Continue, answer four more questions relating to campuses. Then select Continue. After clicking Continue, our algorithm will search through over 6,000 colleges to create a custom list that matches your preferences. If you want to make a change to your selection, simply go back and edit your choice. By selecting a college, you can view more information about this college, such as its geographical location, offered degrees, and campus information. When you find a college that you want to save for later, add it to your favorites list by clicking Add to Favorites. To access your favorites later, simply click the heart icon on the college list. With College Atlas, Beginning your college search is simpler and allows you to focus on what really matters, finding the college that sets you up for success. We have just seen how College Atlas makes the college searching experience easier for students. But let's now meet the students behind the app. Hi, I'm Pranathi Gordy and I'm a freshman at Wilson Preparatory Academy. On our app College Atlas, I worked on user interface, such as designing the logo and choosing the colors and theme for our app. I also helped with giving suggestions for new features to enhance user friendliness. Hello, I'm Jonathan Rogers, and I am a sophomore at Northwest Cabarrus High School. As a lead developer on the College Atlas project, I worked on the front end and back end of College Atlas. I also worked on project management and system administration for College Atlas. Hi, I'm Riley Presmall. I'm a student from Eastern Gilbert High School. As a lead developer, I was there to assist in making sure that the app performed its basic functions, such as switching from screen to screen, as well as helping with the favorites college list. Hello, I'm Jamari Gift, and I'm a junior at Onzo Virtual School. As part of the user interface design team, I aided in creating features and designing the app. My goal was to make College Atlas as user-friendly as possible and incorporate specific designs to cater to our psyche. Hello. My name is Nick Larry and I'm a senior at Shelby High School. My role in the RSA is to just do whatever I can. So I did a little bit of help with the user interface and other features. I also came up with the idea for the app because I was struggling to choose what college I want to go to. And I thought we should help others figure that out. Now that you have met the developers, let's hear what the group has to say about the entire development process and what they have learned. For many of us, GitHub and MIT App Inventor were really new to us, so it took us a lot of time to get used to them. It was also really hard to choose the perfect color scheme for our app because we wanted it to be both user-friendly as well as attractive. Another difficulty we faced was beta testing. Beta testing was a challenge because most of our members had devices that did not support Android applications. Because of this, we had to mainly rely on emulators which in a lot of cases didn't work correctly. However, overall, our most challenging moment was having to work completely virtual on such a complex application. All five of us are from different parts of North Carolina, in different grades and in different schools with super busy schedules, so it was very hard for us to find the time to meet together. At times, this would be very frustrating, but we all got through it together as a team. Throughout this entire process, we have adapted and overcame many difficulties that will be used in our professional development. One key way we have grown is in our teamwork skills. At the beginning of the project, we had to learn how to work as a team 
plan a project, and communicate with each other exclusively online without any in-person interaction. In addition to our team working skills, we also had to learn new platforms such as GitHub so we could properly code, share, and manage our program. As developers, GitHub will be essential for our future work, making it that much more important to learn and understand. When it comes to user interface, we have all realized that there are psychological features that can change the way how you feel about an app, and just about everything you would incorporate into it has a deeper meaning as to why it is the way it is. In an app, the first priority should be the user, so making the app appeal and easy to navigate is and should be our number one priority. Our experience working on College Atlas will definitely help us in our future professional developments. Although our team only had five members, we were able to demonstrate diversity and inclusivity in a multitude of ways. It is a multi-gender coordinated effort with varying grade levels ranging from freshmen to seniors. We are a group consisting of diverse ethnicities including Indian, white, Native American, and African American backgrounds. The different levels of coding experience within our team aided in the overall development of our app. While some of us were advanced, others utilized skills apart from coding to incorporate into the app. And this was all in the name of learning and expanding our horizon. In the process of our app creation, we embraced the idea of user friendliness and integrated concepts such as contrast and colors to support our users with color blindness. We did not let our roles define where we worked. For example, the lead designers worked with the lead developers to be sure that our app looked and worked the way that we wanted it to. Despite first meeting each other virtually only a couple of months ago, we've come together a very long way to create an app. I can honestly say that our team has most certainly grown in many ways from this project. But speaking of this project, where did the inspiration come from? For many students, college searching mainly involves meeting with counselors to cherry pick a small list of colleges to apply to. Unfortunately, in many schools in the United States, there's not an adequate amount of counselors for students. The American School Counselor Association reports the average ratio of students to counselors is 430 to one, well above the recommended ratio of 250 to one. This problem has only grown as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. Students are now having even more difficulty finding a college that will set them up for the future. As a senior myself, I struggled to find the perfect college. It was very difficult to acquire the necessary information and resources to make an informed decision about the college that was right for me. Through research, we were able to find that our team members and I weren't alone. And we also knew that COVID-19 made this process much more difficult. Visiting campuses and getting more information about location, courses offered, tuition, and scholarships, and much more were all hard to obtain, so we wanted to help, leading to the idea of a mobile application that simplifies the college searching experience. Thank you. Let's now look at what the team plans for the future of College Atlas. Even though this contest is almost over, our journey is far from it. Our goal is to still assist students with college searching, especially in underprivileged areas. For this reason, we plan to continue the development of College Atlas for the indefinite future. First, we plan to make changes to the user interface. The user interface is a very important part of any piece of software. This is why we are planning a redesign of College Atlas to parallel with modern interfaces while retaining the app's visual accessibility. This new interface will also support the development of new features and backend integration. As important as the user interface is, it is essential for a program to include many useful features that will support a user base. That is why we are planning many features for College Atlas. To name a few changes, we are planning first an increase to our data pool to allow more search criteria. Second, a modification to our backend cloud system to allow features such as user authentication and data storage. And third, an updated front-end system to allow cross-platform usage of College Atlas. We are hoping to start working on these features in the coming months, and we look forward to the future of College Atlas. We would like to thank everyone for spending your time with us, and from the entire College Atlas team, have a wonderful day.